Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're trying a couple of treats from the UK. So our good friend Rob sent us these wonderful items from the UK mm -hmm. and we're going to give them a try. Some of these are some interesting artisan chocolates. Yeah. And I mean, I don't think that we, I mean, you might be able to find something like this in a specialty shop somewhere in the United States, but I've never seen any that look like these gems. Yeah. And we'll show you up close later in the the guide that came with it. There's some really interesting flavors. Yes. He also is a freelance writer and included this graphic novel for us, which is amazing. And we will link his information down in the pinned comments yeah, below. Yeah, but you can check him out at RaynardCityChronicles.com. That's so fun for us. Very well written. I love the illustrations. Very well done. Um, yeah. Right up our alley. We, That's right. We have um, such creative subscribers. Mm -hmm, like, for sure. Seriously, in your thoughts and ideas and, and things that you share with us and the things that you do. We've had people send us artwork and, and wonderful gifts and things that they've made themselves and that means so much to us that you yeah. take the time to do something like that exactly i mean we're into art we can really appreciate like the artistry that goes into this right and um it's it's amazing you know what people can do and yeah that's awesome yeah and then he also included a couple little postcards yeah which is fun we have some coffee yes we have a mystery flavor and we have some mustard now rob said that he did not know that we didn't get down with mustard mm -hmm. when he originally sent us sent it to us yeah that's okay we may not love it we're gonna be truthful if we don't however it's still fun to try things um, that, I mean, we would have never picked up mustard. Right. Yeah. So we're right. so glad you sent it to us because is it different? I'm sure it's different. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure we're going to get into that in a little bit. Do you want to start? I feel like while our palettes are clear, we should do mystery flavor. Yeah, do probably. You? I think so too. So, uh, looks like this, like a little bar and it's pink. It says warp king mystery flavor. Uh, flavored and colored white chocolate bar hand poured by Sapphire and that's the same company that do, does okay. these um, like gems and I think we saw it somewhere sorry the card isn't right here but um, or the information isn't right here maybe you said it on Instagram but come to the comments mm -hmm. and Rob is gonna let us know what this mystery flavor is it doesn't smell like anything <laughs> Yeah, no clues. It smells like nothing. <laughs> no clues. It's pink. What could it could it be? It could be pink to throw us off, though. That's true. But immediately when I see pink, I think fruit. Yeah. But we'll right. see. We'll see. Cheers. What's it taste like to you? It kind of tastes familiar to me. Me too, but I don't know what. When I first bit it, and you, you know, you kind of get the flavor in your mouth before like all the white chocolate. It kind of tastes like bubble gum. I don't know. Is it Percy Pig? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a pig. Mmm. It's good. I don't know what it is though. Rob. You have to bail us out. I don't have a good guess. It's throwing me off now. But yeah, definitely seems like something like that. Like bubble gum. Or, or... is it like Vimto or like some sort mm. of drink? I don't know. I don't know. You let us know. Yeah. We would love to know. Very interesting. Yeah. Is on here? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Next, chocolates. All right. Alright, gonna slide this off first. Get an old fancy box of chocolates here. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, interesting. Yeah, there's 
They're pretty, aren't they? Yep. Okay. All right. There we have it. Move this out of the way. What are the flavors? Because it might make a difference what yeah. order we try these in. Let's see. I think this card. You do that. It might take me that long to get all these out. Mm, there's a strawberry one. There's two red ones, so. Okay, so there's the strawberry. Um, okay, and they're like half seas too. Okay, yeah. I thought they were like completely round. Yeah. So there's a strawberry, there's a soft caramel, cherry bakewell, peppermint, raspberry. That's probably the that one. Cause What's the strawberry. What's green? Peppermint? Uh, I think so. Let's see. Yeah, peppermint. I feel like I want to go cherry bakewell first. Okay, cherry bakewell. Let me see what that looks like. Oh, cherry ba bakewell is a blue one. Okay, cherry bakewell. Surprise me. It's blue. Blue. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, nice. I don't know that I know what cherry bakewell means, other than I hear them talk about it a lot. Is it? It's like, like a, a cake. I like think. Like a cake. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that chocolate is smooth. Whoa. Whoa, that is good. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. That one's good. Now Get mostly the chocolate. A little hint of cherry in there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Chocolate and cherry, they love each other, though, right? Wow, that's good. Um, I don't care. What, what do we have? We've got soft caramel. That's fine. All right. Uh, that would be the... Brownish one, I believe. Okay. Yep. Gold splatter on milk chocolate. <laughs> They're pretty. Oh. Oh, and there's caramel on the inside. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I love the caramel on that one. Whoa. It's that nice, like, runny. Runny caramel. That's my favorite. Smooth. The chocolate is really good. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Oh, that's I love so that delicious. one. All right. What else do we have? There's raspberry, strawberry. Sure. Peppermint. Which one? Peppermint last. Um. Let's do the raspberry one, which is the lighter pink, I believe. You what? Raspberry and Whoa. chocolate go together too. <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's great. That is yummy. That is so good. That, yeah. Okay. Now what? Uh, that's a strawberry. We can try that. Okay. I think I'm going to prefer the raspberry just because I like raspberry better than strawberry, but we'll see. This is. Like white on the other yeah. side. This one is. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Was the other one? I don't mm. know. Their texture is so great. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. That strawberry is so good. Yeah. We never like strawberry. Mmm. Woo. That's good I'm too. I'm impressed with these. Me too. What so company then, is this again? Okay. Uh, Sapphire. Yeah. Wow. Then we have, um, um, what is that? Salted caramel and peppermint. This one looks like a lump of coal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got that caramel in there too. Okay, wait. Here. <laughs> Just take the Thanks. half of it. I got like a pool of Cheers. caramel in there. Mm. I've never seen black mm -mm. like that before. Oh, Whoa. man. There's a lot of salt in there. That's fantastic. Wow. I like them all, but the ones with the caramel are like next level yeah. for me because I love caramel so much. That cherry bagwell was delicious though. All right, peppermint. 
Mm -hmm. I'm ready for some coffee now. Um, I'll try some coffee. <laughs> All right, peppermint. Cheers. Cheers. I like that one too. Not mm -hmm. as much as some of the other ones. Yeah. Um, I love mint, but in these, the caramel ones were my favorite. Mine too. Then the fruity ones and then the mint. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's because we get mint here. It's very readily available. So the other ones taste so different. I can tell you that had actual mint in it. It did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actual mm. mint. That's good. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, coffee. Yeah, let's pour some coffee. John loves coffee. Laura doesn't. <laughs> Can I see a cup, please? I uh, gave Laura some cream and well, you did. sugar you got... and a little bit of cinnamon. And Laura stands a chance of liking it. <laughs> That's the only way I can drink coffee, for real. I seriously, after those chocolates, I'm ready for this coffee. My goodness. Same. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice with the chocolate. Yeah. I have going on. Mmm. I was trying to go easy on it. I didn't want to make it too strong. I, I love a good strong coffee, so... Um, next time I'll probably make it a little bit stronger than this. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But the flavor is very good. Mm. I like it. I like it, but that's a John thing for sure. I'm yeah. an iced coffee. It's like a nice medium yeah. roast. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's decent. And I don't mm -hmm. even like coffee like that. Every yeah. once in a while though, it kind of hits the spot with chocolate too. It hits the spot. I love coffee like after dessert or oh with dessert. Gosh. I love coffee all the time. All right. Are you ready to try some mustard? I'm ready. <laughs> I am ready. Neither one of us love mustard. This is Coleman's. Mm -hmm. We asked in the comments how we should try it. Yeah. And I feel like we heard the same two things over and over and over again on a, like on a sandwich, like a ham sandwich. Yeah. Or with a sausage, and that's how we thought we would try it. That's sure. how it stands the best chance for us to like it. Yeah. So, it's thick. That is thick. Very thick. So, we commonly see yellow mustard, um, but I think our yellow mustard is different than yours. Mm -hmm. And then we see stone ground mustard. I do like stone ground mustard in certain situations. Let me tell you what, have you sniffed that? Yeah. It smells hot. Yeah, sure. and I was warned. Yeah. I was very yeah. much warned. It's weird, it almost smells like a, like a wasabi kind of. Yeah. Or a horseradish. I'm gonna like put a little bit on, dab it a little yeah. off, just yeah. I don't wanna blow the roof up. Me too. Hi kitty cat, you can right. visit. Cheers. Cheers. Don't try to wipe your mustard off on mine. <laughs> And this John just cooked in the air fryer. Wait well, it's now. It's a little one, but the flavors. I'm gonna try again. Cause I had wiped off most of my. Ah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is okay. like a like a horseradish almost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nasally kind of heat. Really different than mm -hmm. what different. we get. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like it too. Weird. Yeah. Interesting how different. I don't think. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, you can tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I thought I was wrong. I don't think I would like it on a ham sandwich as much as I like it this way. There's something about like a little bit of greasy like sausage yeah. and the fact that it's hot mm -hmm. makes me like that more than if everything was cold. Right. Am I wrong about that? I don't know. I don't know. 
it's preferences, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. I, I, I think it's better than what I've had of mustard before. I'm, I'm like actually surprised because mm -hmm. what are the things that we always go round and round saying that we hate? Mustard is one of them. Mango yeah. is another. Um, what's mango like in the UK? <laughs> Maybe I'll have to go there. Nobody send us a mango. I am pleasantly surprised with Me that. Me too. Me yeah, too. and he said he felt bad because he didn't realize that we didn't like mustard at first. Ah. So, don't you feel bad. Guess what? That's how you learn to, you know, some people will say in a video, oh, that looks disgusting or that sounds disgusting or right. I would never eat that or try that. You don't know until you try it. And I'm that's exactly. coming from two of the pickiest little kid eaters there ever were. Yeah, that's pretty much like the point of our channel is to try new things and, you mm -hmm. know, reach out and expand ourselves. And learn how other people, other cultures, other countries celebrate and um you know come together through food right yeah and you can learn if you're interested in what americans eat or at least these two americans and what That's we right. enjoy and you know i don't know i'm i'm so happy that we tried that thank you rob for sending this to us this I, was so yeah. fun and I, can, I really understand why you sent it to us because it's you know I, we've gotten comments from a lot of people that said you know you got to try coleman so yeah yeah so now I'm, I'm glad that we have it i'm glad that we have it so yeah and i think what we'll do is we're gonna have um a little get together for Easter. I think we'll put a little bit of that out in case anybody wants to try it with their little like salami or you know yeah, some yeah, of the yeah. meats that we're gonna have on the charcuterie board. I think that would be amazing. Yeah, and uh, this is going up into my uh, newly organized coffee cabinet. And, yeah. Um, I, I will enjoy this quite a bit. That's so. how we spent part of our day yesterday. I guess that's a great segue into uh, we've been organizing, working on organizing, ordering things to be organized, etc. Uh, for the entire house. Mostly we're focusing on the kitchen right now. Uh, so if you want to see us tackle all those little projects, come find us on the other channel. There's a link to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. What are you waiting for? Along with the other channel where we do other things in our game channel where it's just us hanging out, playing games, links to everything down in a pinned comment on this video. Um, make sure you come find us on Instagram too. Yeah. Don't forget, we love Instagram. Nothing but love and positivity on Instagram, on our Instagram. Anyway. That's right. Um, now, if you love being pleasantly surprised when you try something new mm -hmm. and you find that, this isn't my new favorite, I'm not gonna slather that on everything, but when people say, do you like mustard? Mm -hmm. I can now say, some. Yeah, it depends, some. Yeah, and with certain things. Yeah. So um, let us know how you like to use Coleman's in your house too, if you're in the UK, like what you what you put it on, I'd love to know. It, I could, it it's gotta be a whisper. Yeah, It's gotta be sure. a hint, I can tell yeah. that it's, you know, it's gonna get me mm -hmm. if I put too much on. So anyway, if you love that or creative people yeah or um mystery flavors or artisan chocolates or amazing coffee or the best thing making friends with folks through youtube yeah or us or the video give this video a big thumbs up it really helps our channel grow when you do that that's all we have for today that's it guys see you next time bye